Problem solving, act it out, lesson 11.9. We can do problem solving by acting something out. We can practice subtraction by playing store. We can put prices on our toys, objects around the house, or even pictures from a magazine. Then we can use play money to buy them and give change. We'll use subtraction to make change. Just make sure to line up the digits correctly and remember to put the decimal point in the answer. Remember, what's on this side of this decimal point is dollars, and what's on this side are the cents, okay? So you have to remember to keep your dollars away from your cents, all right? So let's try this. We can use coins and bills to act out the problem. Here we have a toy owl for a dollar 39 cents. We have a toy truck for $2.80 and a toy fish for $1.55. Tala had $3 when she went to the store. She had 20 cents when she left. So which toy did she buy? She had $3, three $1 bills when she went to the store, but when she left, she only had two dimes, 20 cents. Well, we can do subtraction. If we take away the 20 cents from the three dollars, we'll know how much she spent. And subtracting money is the same thing as subtracting regular numbers. We just have a dollar sign and a decimal point to separate the dollars and cents. She started with three dollars. She had 20 cents left over when she left. If we take 20 cents away from the three dollars, zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus two, we regroup the three dollars to two dollars, and we group this to a ten from a zero. Ten take away two is eight, we drop down the two, so we know she spent two dollars and eighty cents to have twenty cents left over. If we add this twenty cents to this two dollars and eighty cents, we'll be back up to three dollars. It's the same thing as if we had 300 and took away 20. We would have 280. The only difference is we have a dollar sign and a decimal point. Well, $2.80 is the price of the toy truck. So we know Tala bought the toy truck. That's what cost $2.80. See? All right. So Emma had $5 when she went to the store. When she left the store, she had $3.45. So which toy did she buy? Well, this is how much she had left, okay? She went to the store, she had this, and this is how much she had left. That tells us that clue word left means left over. So we need to find the difference between these, and that's a subtraction problem. We subtract her change, how much she had left, from how much she had when she went to the store, the $5, and then we'll find out how much she spent. Zero, take away five, we can't. So we need to regroup, but we can't because there's a zero there. So we need to move to the next place value in order to regroup these. This five becomes a four, and this becomes 10. Now we can regroup from this place value. Now we can take one of these away. It becomes a nine and now that becomes a 10. See, 10 take away five is five. Nine take away four is a five. We have to remember our decimal point and four take away three is a one. We have to remember our dollar sign. That means she spent $1.55. So what did she buy? Oh, she bought the toy fish. See? So by taking away her change from how much she had at first, we will know how much she spent. Okay? And we can subtract money with the same rules for subtracting two-digit or three-digit numbers. The only difference is we remember to put in the dollar sign and the decimal point after two place values to show that this is the cents, okay? If we have 400 and we need to take away 128, well, we can't have zero and take eight away, and we can't regroup it from the tens place because that's zero. So 
this 4 becomes a 3. The tens place becomes 10 tens, which is 100. And now we can take one of these tens away. It becomes a 9, and we can give it to the ones place. See? 10 take away 8 is 2. 9 tens take away 2 tens is 7 tens. And 3 hundreds take away 100 is 200. Our answer is 272. And we can do the same thing if we had a dollar sign and a decimal point. We would regroup this as $3. We would regroup this as 10. And we could regroup this as a 9 and give 10 cents to the ones place and do 10 take away 8 is 2. 90 cents take away 20 cents is 70 cents. That's 7 tens. We remember our decimal point. 3 take away 1 is 2. And we remember our dollar sign. See? So it's the same thing. We just have to remember our dollar sign and to put our decimal point straight down. And see how nice and pretty the decimal point comes straight down like that. We line it up nice. See that? Okay. Let's try it again. We have 600 minus 275. We can't have 0 and take 5 away, and we can't regroup from the tens place because that's a 0. So we're going to go all the way to the hundreds place. It's going to become a 5, and it's going to give 100 to the tens place as 10 tens. Now we can regroup this as 9 tens and give one of the tens to the ones place. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 7 is 2. So that's 90 take away 70, isn't it? It's 9 tens take away 7 tens is 2 tens. And 5 hundreds take away 2 hundreds is 300. We get 325. So do you know what the answer would be for this one? The only difference is we have our decimal points here and we have dollar signs. So our answer would be $3 and 25 cents. It's the same thing. We're just putting a dollar sign and our decimal point straight down in a nice pretty row. See that? Just make sure you remember the decimal point, okay? So we can subtract money. We can play store and act out giving out change. You can try that. If you don't have play money, you can get pieces of paper and write the value of the money on it, okay? You can even make pretend coins with little squares of paper or circles of paper, okay? Try that. It might be fun. I'm going to do more subtraction of money in the next video. I hope this video was helpful. Hit the like button if you liked it and it helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye.